I'm going to survive 100 days in better Minecraft. But I don't think I really want to do this on my own. Hmm, who do I know who's really good at Minecraft? Hello? Hi, yeah, you all right? Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, you want to play better Minecraft with me? What's better Minecraft? Better Minecraft is a mod pack that, well, makes Minecraft better. I guess the clue's in the name. It introduces new dimensions, challenging mobs, beautiful biomes, new structures, dungeons, magic, exploration, cool villages, this weird cave goblin. You get it. It has loads of cool stuff. Let's just play it. Okay, sounds fun. So now that we're here, what should we do? Well, I guess we just got like gear up, maybe get some armor, get some tools, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so how about you go off in that direction and I'll go that way. All right, sounds good. I guess we'll meet back here in a couple of days. You got it. Good luck, Bozo. Hey. So day one started out as you would expect. Punch some trees, make some tools, and then chop trees the better Minecraft way. Oh, damn, that is so cool. I found a good source of food with these berries. Damn, man, I hate these berries. And got lucky enough to find some friendly sheep who donated me their wool. Yep, I don't think better Minecraft is happy with me right now. And after killing a couple more sheep, I could finally make a bed. Wait, what's this? A sleeping bag. Yo, let's go. Next up, I celebrated our new sleeping bag by killing some more sheep along with this zombie and that was until i came across our first structure i had no idea what it was but it did have some good loot and underneath it had a prisoner spring le false okay anyway i got the heck out of there i freed some wolves ran away from a skeleton and continued exploring but after about a minute i saw what looked like a village in the distance so i decided to make my way around found this blue jay shout out blue jays fans anyway i made it around to the village as day one was coming to an end and with that i took our first sleep in a villager's bed so i spent pretty much all of day two just exploring this village where i found out i can make this sweet backpack right well that's gonna need upgrading i also found this cool kitchen house thing where i cooked some of my sheep meat then decided the frying pan was actually pretty cool and the villagers probably no longer needed it and after looting up a little bit more of the village i stumbled across this bounty board what the heck is this thing three bookshelves for a totem uh okay yep i need to do that bookshelf should be easy to make but first oh yes there's a waystone nice and well to cut a long story sure i struggled to make the bookshelves i needed vanilla bookshelves but it kept giving me modded bookshelves i just wanted bookshelves but anyway i eventually figured out how to make the bookshelves and i turned those bookshelves into a totem and with all that it took us to the end of day two of which i spent most of the time trying to make bookshelves <sighs> but to start day three i decided i'd take my bookshelf anger out on this iron golem so that i could upgrade my backpack brilliant you need eight iron so i went on a little adventure to try and find a cave to grab some more iron i managed to find basically nothing other than this one bit but i did manage to grab some coal and it's at this point that i decided i should probably try and head in the direction of drift when what the heck is this thing oh more iron this is so weird so despite this thing probably being really dangerous i decided it would be a great idea to try and get myself up there and see what it was turns out this thing was a skeleton spawner which like the moron that i am i broke in a panic but on the upside it did have some pretty great loot of which i took as much as my inventory would allow but yeah i spent the rest of day three heading back towards drift saying hello to this bear. Hiya. And of course, going to sleep. On day four, I made the rest of the journey back to meet Drift to catch up on what she'd been up to. Hey, buddy. How'd you, Ooh. how'd you uh, do with everything? Oh yeah, yeah, pretty good. I mean, I've got some bread, I've got some broken stone tools. I got this totem that I got from a uh, bounty in a village. Pretty cool. What? That's awesome. Okay, well, I mean, I have all of my stuff at a tower over there and the area around it looks so nice. Do you want to come check it out? Oh yeah, okay. What? Look down. Ooh, leather. I could use that. You're welcome. Thanks. Where's this tower then? Tower is over here. Oh, this is pretty. Right? What's this thing? Is this a dungeon or something? There was actually no mobs in here. It looked like just a landmark or something. I'm not exactly sure, but there was tons and tons of loot in here. If you go up in here, you'll see everything that I gathered. Just that. That's what you... No, I've no, been no, out no, no. grinding there's... and you got this. No, there's more. There's more. Also, look at all the bookshelves we can use for enchanting. I did have some trouble with some bookshelves earlier, so... um. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And also, check that out. A waystone? Waystone. I found a waystone with a village. You did? Yeah, yeah. I like activate it and everything. So if we place that, we could easily go to the village. Oh, awesome. I don't know exactly how to work this one, but I'm sure we could figure it out. Also, two golden apples for us. So Yo, we're good. Okay. This area does seem 
pretty cozy, right? I mean, are we going to live here? Is this what we're going to do? I feel like it's a really cozy area. It looks like there's a lot of access to other places. I feel like this is the spot if you're into it. Oh, there's a pond for fishing. <gasps> oh, there is a fishing pond. What do you say that we post up here for a bit, gather a bunch of resources, and then we can kind of build our own builds? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So we're going to do a bit of resource gathering and then start building. And then that'll that'll help us gear up for whatever comes next. This is actually so good. I know, it's actually really cool. Ah! Oh God, maybe we should just, what do we do, sleep? I'm sleeping. Oh my god, there's more. Ah, it's bad. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna go sleep. Oh. So I spent the next few days trying my best to gather some materials so me and Drift could start building. On day five, I chopped down a few of the trees around our area so we actually had space to build and head out into the unknown to see what I could find. Right off the bat, I found this signpost and got this achievement, whatever that means. I found the world's worst cave looking for some more iron, of which it had zero. But again, it did have some coal, so I grabbed a whole bunch of that. And after leaving that cave, I found this cool butterfly, which led me to another cave where I made a couple of new friends. Oh, jeez. I mind a bit of diorite thinking we might use that in a build. Left that cave and found some of this cool limestone, thinking we might use some of that in a build too. Yep, spoiler, we didn't use any of it. But I celebrated by killing some cows in cold blood and finding a new cave. On day six, it turns out the cave was even worse than the cave from yesterday. So I left that cave and went to look for a new cave. I killed a squirrel and then I killed an ant too. I found these pretty flowers, so I thought I'd bring those back for drift. And then I killed this cow and then this one too. Oh yeah, and this one. I found another awful cave while looking for some iron. But all I found were these two skeletons who took it upon themselves to almost kill me. But as it turns out, I'm so good at Minecraft that I killed them both, bringing my daily kill tally to seven. Not long after that, I killed this cow and then this one too. But I found myself a little far from home, so I decided to loop back around. And that's when I found this pillager outpost. So I killed this pillager, then I killed this one as well. Took all their loot and got the heck out of there. After that, I found this massive cave and can you believe it? It actually had some iron. So I mined it all up, grabbed some of this soapstone that I never used, and that took us to the end of day six. At the start, day seven, I found this weird goblin thing who actually turned out to be a trader and a pretty good one at that. So I doubled my iron and made a full set of iron armor. I'd never felt so safe. And now that we had our OP trader friend, I mined up all the iron that I could see in hopes of getting enough to get Drift a full set of armor too. So I traded up the rest of the iron, accidentally took the waystone to the village, and then made the journey back home where I stumbled upon a structure that looked to me like some sort of dungeon. So I jumped down, killed a couple of zombies, took what loot I could see, got scared and left. It would probably be better if I came back with Drift. And after that, I crafted a boat to make the rest of the journey back to the base. Drift, I'm home. You're back. You're all ki you're all geared up. Yeah, I got something for you. Bam. Oh, <gasps> thank you. Chest plate. Is that on your back? Oh, do you like this? Yeah. Well, I've got a backpack as well. Mine's not on my back. How do I? You gotta you gotta equip it. You gotta equip it on your on your chest. Oh. I don't know if you can wear a chest plate though with it. Yes, oh, wait, you, you can. can. You can. Look at that. Oh, let's go, baby. Explorers. Look how we look cool. I think we look really cool. I look cooler, obviously, but um, you, you look nice. I mean, like, that's that's debatable. But but while you were gone, I got ourselves a sustainable farm going. Yo. So we have access to food. We've got sheep. We've got wool. Everything you need is in these chests to get started if you need to feed them and if you need to shear them. And we've got crops in the back. You know what? I'm going to craft a pair of shears and put it in this box. I mean, they're already in the box, but the more well. shears... Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're in my inventory. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. I also managed to gather enough iron to upgrade my backpack and selfishly, I'm doing it. So maybe tomorrow, now that we have all of the resources, build a storage room for all of it? Yeah, a little storage room. I could actually use that because my inventory is a huge mess. I've fallen in a hole. This is like a little like fight pit, a fight arena, if you will. But maybe in the meantime, I'm going to sleep so we can get started on that, okay? Oh god, there's zombies. I'm protecting you. God, oh god, Jeez. please. So on day eight, me and Drift started planning out our storage room build, which we decided to attach to the tower that Drift had found. But it wasn't long until we realized we had nowhere near enough resources to actually build it. So we decided we would take the waystone back to the cave. But for some reason, I went to the village first, like the moron that I am, wasting levels and time. But eventually we made it to the cave to collect up a bunch of stone and a site and gravel, which takes us to day nine, where we made it back home and spent the rest of that day figuring out the base for our storage house. Then we spent the next few days finishing off the house. 
house. Drift decided she would take care of the walls and I would take care of the roof. I decided to keep things simple with a nice basic roof shape. I used spruce wood for the roof trim and it's really nice looking maple wood for the rest. I think this combo looks super nice together. But once the roof was done, I helped Drift finish off the walls with some spruce logs and some aspen planks. After that, I collected a whole bunch of sand so that Drift could make some glass windows. But with the outside pretty much finished, I started work on the interior while Drift added some details to the exterior. I started by digging out the floor and replacing it with some nice looking oak boards. And once that was done, I added the second floor with these nice spruce boards. I crafted up a bunch of chests and barrels so we actually had somewhere to store all our stuff. It was nothing fancy, but it would definitely do for us. But once all that was out of the way, I started work on a little staircase so we could actually get to the second floor. I didn't really know what was going to go up there yet, but we did find a good use for that later. And all that was left to do was tidy up the walls on the second floor, add a few more decorations to the outside, fight a few zombies, and we could basically call this build complete. Did you use the, uh... Little birch flower pots that I gave you. I didn't, because it was they were too small. They're freaking cute though. Let's put them on the in do you want to see what I did on the inside? Mm -hmm. Just prepare yourself. This is probably okay. the best interview you've ever gonna see in your life. Okay. Wait, after you, after you. Whoa! This looks pretty good. It's alright. This is gonna do for now. Little storage room. Yeah. As you can see, I've organized everything. Oh, that looks great. This is this is organization to my liking. And then uh, upstairs, we've got a lovely area for um activities and stuff. Okay. Whatever. Need a little bit of light here and there too, but it's looking good. It's looking good. I still only have a chest plate. It's pretty sad. I think that we should gear up. Yeah, we should probably gear up. I did find a big cave earlier on uh, that we went okay. to, and it kind of goes down. Maybe we could go there tomorrow. Sure, let's do it. We'll gear up so then we can take on new adventures. Yeah. So on day 13, we decided it was time for our first real caving trip together as we were really running low on quite a lot of resources. So I cooked up a bit of food in the frying pan and we took the waystone back to the cave. Now, while we were here, we had three main goals. Find lots of iron, lots of gold, and hopefully a few diamonds because we had some big goals for this 100 days and the iron gear we had wasn't quite gonna cut it. So we hopped down into the deep depths of these better Minecraft caves with our three goals, no idea what to expect, and no idea what the heck we were doing. It didn't take us long to find some iron, but it wasn't really enough. But I did manage to make myself an iron pick though, so if I was lucky enough to find some gold and diamonds, I would at least be able to mine it. And after fighting a weird mining zombie thing and a skeleton, we found our first patch of diamonds. But uh, unfortunately, it was only one. And we were hoping for at least three so we could make a diamond pick. So we were left with no choice but to continue exploring the caves, picking up all the iron and gold gold we could find. We found this cool skelly spawner that had some cool loot, but it didn't have the diamonds that we were looking for. We did find this cool iron vein though. This thing had more iron than we could possibly need, so we mined it till we got bored and carried on exploring, which took us into day 14, where we explored for what seemed like hours, until eventually we found the diamonds we were looking for, and it was at this point that we decided to get out of this cave and head back to base. That was until this thing got on our way. Curiosity did get the better of us, and against our better judgement, we decided it would be a good idea to head up there and check out what was inside this thing. And it turns out this thing was a massive zombie dungeon that contained some pretty great loot, including this diamond sword. Oh yeah, and a fire protection book. But after getting overwhelmed by zombies, we pillowed our way up to the surface. And as it turns out, this was the same zombie dungeon I found a couple days ago. I'm definitely glad I decided not to go in there on my own. But anyway, to round off day 14, I made us both a boat to travel back home and we spent the rest of the evening sorting out all the loot that we'd acquired. Day 15 was the day we decided we were ready to go to the nether. But before I did anything, I used some of the gold we got yesterday to upgrade my backpack again. Now this thing was really starting to become useful, but with a new backpack in hand, we set out to find some lava so we can make some obsidian for our portal. Don't ask why we didn't get it while we're in the cave, you know neither of us are that smart. We did find this weird pumpkin cult and decided to take their bodies so we could turn it into food later. But anyway, it wasn't long until we found ourselves back in the cave we were in yesterday, just watching Drift mine obsidian. Oh god. Yes, thrilling content. And as you can imagine, by the time that was done and we made our way back home. That was pretty much the end of day 15. On day 16, we built our nether portal on the second floor of our storage house. We hopped right in and instantly realized we weren't wearing any gold. So went right back through the portal, grabbed some gold garments and entered the nether once more. This wasn't the best nether spawn, but we did manage to make our way to some terrain that was actually traversable. So we set off into this unknown hellscape in the hopes of finding something useful. We were hoping for another fortress because the main thing we wanted to get out of this trip was some blaze rods and 
ender pearls. I'm sure you can all imagine why we wanted these things. And we could not believe our luck. Another fortress not far away at all. So we built a dirt staircase up and began searching for some blaze. It didn't take long to find one, but I have to admit the battle wasn't going great. Thankfully though, I have my tome of undying. So I was feeling pretty confident. We thought it'd be best if we try to find ourselves a blaze spawner, assuming that those things actually still appear in better Minecraft. And after a bit of exploring, I spotted the blaze spawner. I managed to get in there and build a little dirt roof to try and stop the blaze escaping. And this thing was proving pretty effective. So I spent the rest of day 16 collecting as many blaze rods as I could be bothered to. Oh yeah, and I uh, popped my totem. Come back here, come back here. <gasps> Bruh. Which takes us to day 17, where we want to explore the rest of the nether fortress to take its loot and locate some endermen to relieve them of their pearls. And I can't lie, the loot wasn't that great. That was until I found this crazy looking wither room thing. So I broke in and took all the loot that I could find, which actually included some enchanted iron armor, which I chucked on right away. We spent the rest of day 17 getting out the nether fortress and traveling through the nether to try and find some endermen. Day 18 was rather uneventful. Maybe only just having a staring contest with Endermen, running away to my scared little baby room, and killing them to collect their pearls. Thankfully though, with the two of us, this wasn't so bad, and we managed to grab enough pearls for what we needed. Well, we hoped it would be enough anyway. And then, day 19 was spent travelling back through this crazy nether, trying to find our portal. It gets more exciting, I promise. On day 20, we wanted to start trying to upgrade our gear, and we thought the best way to do that would be to enchant. So we split the two tasks of building an XP farm and building an enchantment setup. One completely safe, and and the other reasonably dangerous. Obviously it was up to me to take the dangerous job, so I set out to try and find a spawner. I was pretty sure I'd seen one while exploring before, so I headed north to try and find it, and only about 300 blocks later I did manage to locate this thing. Turns out this was actually a zombie spawner, maybe not the best, but it would definitely do for what me and Drift needed. So I lit up the area and started digging away the building so I could turn this into a farm. After getting bored of digging though, I thought it would be a great idea to travel to the nearby village we explored on day two, and take its waystone to place at the future XP farm. I figured we'd be traveling here a lot more than the village, so in my mind this was a big brain move. But once all that was sorted out, that took us to the end of day 20. Day 21 and 22 was actually spent building the XP farm itself, and I'll save you all some time here with a little two day montage, because I'm sure you've all seen this being built a million times before, but by the end of day 22 we had a working zombie XP farm, and I spent the rest of that day going back home to sort out my inventory, do a little bit of farming, and cook up a bit more food on the frying pan. Drift? Lockdown? Oh uh, yeah, I finished the XP farm. Well, that's just in time because I finished the enchanting table. Ooh, this is pretty. I like it. Thank you, thank you. Not as fancy as what I've built, but um... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be the judge of that. That sounded so lame. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> so now that we have those two things settled, really all we need are the diamonds to get good gear. Yeah, I don't really want to enchant iron gear, to be honest. Uh, strip mine? Yeah, let's strip mine. So me and Drift head back to the giant cave and started digging a staircase down to diamond level. On the way down, we did actually find a diamond, but we thought best to leave it and try and get fortune on a diamond pickaxe first. We eventually made it down to level minus 54 and started strip mining in the hopes of finding some more diamonds. Unfortunately, all we really found was redstone, which does actually come in handy later in the video. Plus, it was a bit of extra XP. But yeah, we spent the rest of day 23 just mindlessly bashing our heads against Deep Slate. On day 24, we left the mines and headed to the XP farm to try and get to level 30 so we could enchant a pickaxe. Drift eventually got bored and left to go back to strip mining while I stood there and hit zombies with a sword. But I finally did get to level 30 and made the journey back home to try my luck at an enchantment. I made a fresh diamond pick, head to the enchantment table, and uh, it's not bad, but it's not fortune. So I made a grindstone so I could remove the enchantments. That way I could get back to level 30 and give fortune 3 another shot, which meant I had to go back to the zombie be farm and continue minusly swiping at these stinky feet. You would not believe the smell in this place. On day 25, I finally hit level 30 again. It turns out this farm really isn't that efficient at getting XP, but I once again made the journey back home to give enchanting another shot. And oh my thank you, we actually got fortune 3. So brand new game changing pick in hand, I head back to the mines to meet up with Drift and continue to strip mine into day 26, where after a super long time between me and Drift, we found all the diamonds we could need. So we 
recrafted up a full set of diamond armor each and even had enough left over so we could get a full set of diamond tools each as well. After that, we made our way back to base. I enchanted my chest plate, sorted out our inventories and figured out what it was we were going to do next. On day 27, I was sort of feeling like I deserved a bit of a chilled out day. We've achieved a lot in this world so far and we've both been working super hard. And because of that, I thought I'd take a Minecraft holiday and do a little bit of fishing. Now, you might think this is a waste of time, but let me tell you, I actually did find some pretty decent loot. Plus, we're running low on food and some extra fish didn't go amiss. Not to mention, it was also a good source of XP. Speaking of XP, while I was fishing, Drift was over at the XP farm grinding out some levels. So I decided, seeing as she was busy, I could get away with another day of fishing, which meant I also got to level 30 again. But on the way to the enchanting table, I harvested some wheat. That way we could breed our cows again. And I enchanted my sword. It's not bad. But anyway, Drift was still vibing at the zombie farm. So I fished until she got back home. We spent the rest of the evening catching up and making a plan for what we were going to do tomorrow. On day 29, I went back to the zombie farm and just sat grinding out levels. I was itching to get some more enchanting done. And with the loot that we got from fishing, I thought that I could make an OP sword. But only if I got another shot at enchanting. So I managed to get up to level 33, head back home, make a fresh sword, and try my luck at another enchant. And oh wow, I got looting three. I also enchanted my boots with unbreaking and fire protection. But after that, I donated my old sword to Drift and combined the new sword with the sharpness and fire aspect book that I got from fishing. I spent the rest of the day clearing out my inventory so that I was ready to start fresh tomorrow. For the next couple of days, we both decided it would be a good idea to do a little bit of building to expand our base. Drift was going to build a potion house so we could brew, well, potions. And I was going to do something equally as useful and build a fishing hut. Look, I like fishing, all right? Fishing is useful. But anyway, I gathered up a bit of wood from around the base and just tried to make the best of what I had. I came up with a basic shape and started adding a shallow roof on top using some maple wood. I then started adding a few details using some cool modded decoration blocks. Man, these things were so cool. And a great and unique way to bring some much needed life to Minecraft. Oh, it's going to be hard to get back into vanilla after this. But after a lot of fiddling, placing, and head scratching, I had a fishing hut I was happy with. Which brings us to day 32. And look, I fished all day, alright? deal with it. On day 33, Drift was still finishing off her potion house and there was word of heading out on a big adventure tomorrow. So I thought it'd be a good idea to take a small trip out and find us some food. Food montage. <laughs> So here we are on day 34, and this was the day of our first big adventure out into the wilderness. We had no idea what to expect, but we felt like we were geared up enough to take on anything we ran into. Spoiler, we were not even close. But with a spring in our step, we left home in search of riches and good loot. We came across an enemy that we'd never seen before, which I killed trying to protect a very scared drift. Totem of freezing. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> You're dead! What the? Oh, that's uh, kind of cringe. But anyway, Drift made it back to collect all her stuff from her grave, and we carried on with our journey. We ran into a pillager outpost, so we fought off a few of them, checked out their loot, and moved on. Then we stumbled across what looked like an icy wooden mansion, and didn't hesitate to get in there. Well, maybe Drift did, but I talked her around. And you know what? Maybe Drift actually had a point. We both ended up getting scared and leaving, just trying to find something maybe a little bit more safe. The next day, we came across a house that had one of those weird ice wizards that killed Drift yesterday, and I was taking no chances, so I set my spawn and went in to take some revenge on that thing that murdered my best friend. Yeah, this guy wasn't so tough. Oh, I'm free. Oh, I'm dead. Watch. Oh, sh but anyway, I got my stuff back and we kept on exploring. And it wasn't long until we found another structure. This thing was massive and also super dangerous. I don't know who the heck these guys thought they were, but they were so annoying. Like, really annoying. But eventually, I made it into their fort to take their loot, including this diamond block. But honestly, that was about it. So we got the hell out of there and slept in this igloo. Now, for the next couple of days, we kept adventuring, but didn't really find too much. We did take a ride on this cool sled, checked out some unique looking biomes, and grabbed some blocks that we'd not seen before. Thankfully, they drifted loot at another waystone, which made getting home super easy. Now, we may not have got too much loot, but we did get to see a little bit more of what Bear Minecraft had to offer. And something tells me this would not be our last adventure. Though, next time, I think we're going to need some better gear. On day 30, 
38, we decided it might be best if we can make a mob farm, hoping that the loot that we got from it would come in useful throughout the rest of our time in this world. But to do that, we had to spend a couple of days collecting up a bunch of resources to build it, including lots of redstone and iron. On day 40, we finally had the items that we needed to make the mob farm, so we set out to find a good location to actually build it. We didn't want it to be too far from the base, but also didn't want it to be too close. That way it might spoil our lovely view, because, uh, well, this thing was not going to be pretty. We eventually found the perfect spot and started building up the farm together. We were following a tutorial by Shulkercraft, so I'll leave a link to that one in the description. Now, this thing was pretty easy to build and definitely more than good enough for what we needed, and it's the same one that I have in my hardcore world, so I knew this thing was going to be great. But anyway, by the time we finished building this farm, that took us to day 42, where all that was left to do was climb this giant ladder into the sky and just stand around, which meant for the next couple of days, we were just AFK'd at the mob farm while talking about our plans for the rest of the 100 days. And wow, this farm was really working. Look at all those mobs. I'm going to uh, jump into that river down there from up here. Mm, let me take a look. I don't even see this river. So you know what? It's it's all on you. Good luck. I'll watch. Oh, please. I'm making it. Yes. I can't even see, <laughs> I can't on, even see it. Should I do it? Should I do yeah, it? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Oh, God. oh, please! <laughs> oh, so close. That was actually it's close. really close. <laughs> <laughs> On day 44, we checked out the loot that we got from the mob farm, which considering we weren't standing there for that long, was actually pretty decent. But while stood AFK, we decided we wanted to tackle some villager trading in the hopes of getting some mending and unbreaking books. So once we got back to base, we gathered up all the stuff we were going to need, did some low level enchanting, hopped on a boat at the fishing dock, and made our way to the village that I found on day two. It didn't take us long to get some villagers trapped and converted to the profession that we needed. We were going to trade sticks with a Fletcher to generate emeralds. So I began chopping down all the nearby trees so that Drift could keep trading. On day 45, I trapped a couple more villagers so that I could start rolling for mending and unbreaking books. And guys, this was so painful and only served as a reminder of why I hardly ever do villager trading. I mean, just to get the days ticking up. But by the time day 47 rolled round, we had the books that we needed. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So we head back to base to sort out our items. And I once again went to the mob farm to try and reach level 30, which took us into day 48. The day we were prepare for our biggest challenge yet, killing the dragon. So I made it home from the mob farm, enchanted a fresh bow. Well, that could have been better, but it's pretty decent. I did some more low level enchants on the rest of my armor, made sure I had everything we could possibly need and finally crafted our eyes of ender. Hopefully 16 was gonna be enough. But for the rest of the day, we just hung around the base, double checking we had everything and keeping our fingers crossed, we we weren't gonna die. So here we are, day 49, the day that we find a stronghold. We threw our first eye and just walked in that direction. I mean, we all know how this worked, right? Let's look at the cool stuff we found along the way. We found one of those cool towers, just like we have at the base. And this is where Drift actually found a waystone. So we climbed up to the top and yes, we found another waystone. This was gonna come in so handy placing it in the stronghold if we actually find one. Next up, we found a dangerous looking well. Yeah, dude, I'm not, uh, I'm not going in there. Then on the top of this hill, we found a church. There wasn't really much loot, but this happened. Yeah, so, um, hi everybody, thank you for coming. Today we are talking about, um, theft and how it's wrong and how you shouldn't steal from others. Even if you're their friend, you shouldn't steal. I saw what you stole from me, Blockdown, and I think... You should go into the confessional booth. Yep, I think she's actually losing her mind. But ignoring that, we traveled through the night thinking that we were starting to get pretty close to the stronghold. I did find this cool turtle. Oh, he's so cute. But after long last, it was time to start digging down. And on the dawn of day 50, we entered the stronghold. And wow, look at this. This is definitely better than a vanilla stronghold. So we set our spawns and began exploring, hoping to find some good loot and obviously the end portal. We did find a name tag that was going to come in very useful for a farm that we had planned. But after about 50 minutes of exploring, we finally found the portal room, which um, funny enough actually turned out to be right where we came in. Yep, we are not smart people. But once again, we set our spawn next to the portal and spent some time getting our inventories in order for the big dragon fight. And with that, let's get into the action with some live blocky and drift. I'm ready, homie. Are you ready? Let's put some eyes in. Yeah, let's get the eyes in here. Oh, Whoa. Oh, right. I hope for a good spawn. Couldn't have done this without you. Yeah, I know. Um, I fell in the lava. What? I fell in the lava. I'm falling through the sky. Hi. Oh, we're in. We're in, we're in. Oh, that was really scary. <laughs> it just took a second. Okay, let's just pi let's pill her out. Don't look at any Enderman. I think I'm near. You're close. You're getting there. You're getting there. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're here. Don't forget your potion. I can't cheese these ones. Oh, yeah, they're mad. They're mad. They are cheesed out of their minds. What's coming down? We got this. We got this. Oh, nice. I saw that. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, you doing good, oh, homie? God. Oh. oh, God. I see him. I see him. I'm coming. I'm gonna die. Maybe. 
No, 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 no. Take another slow forward okay. potion. I'm getting some good shots in. You really are. All right. Surely. Oh. Oh, this is it. This, this is, is it. it. Yes. Yes. Let's go, yes! baby. Yes. So with the dragon down, we collected its drops, its XP, and its egg. So uh, I guess with that other way, maybe we should head back home. Maybe just collect our thoughts. Yeah, sure. I mean, I would love to get some wings, but I think we should probably do a couple things before we go do that. Yep, I agree. Maybe um, maybe try to get some better gear. Maybe use some of our newfound levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Right. I'm going to uh, hop back through the portal, I guess. Yeah, I want to go home. I'm hungry. I want to eat a snack, you know? Yeah, agreed. All right, let's go home. Wee. Wee. And I'm assuming we can just go... Oh, yes! Oh, so let's easy. Go. I love these waystones so much. Oh, my gosh. And we spent the rest of day 51 spending our levels on some better enchantments, which were not that great, harvesting some sugarcane, and planning for the next day. Oh, uh... You right, buddy? Dude, I don't know what happened, but I feel really sick. Uh, you don't look that well, I gotta say. Are you sure? Am I looking okay? I don't know. I can't really move. So you know those, like, ender pearls that we saw in the end and stuff? Yeah. I took a bite out of one. Anyway, on day 52, we decided we needed to step up our XP game. Although I didn't build the zombie farm that long ago, it just wasn't cutting it. And that's why we decided we wanted to make an Enderman farm. The hardest part about building one of these is actually just getting to the end. But now that we defeated the dragon, that was going to be easy. All that we had to do is collect up the materials we needed to build it. And I was going to take care of grabbing a whole bunch of stone. And Drift was going to sort out everything else. Oh, I love having the easy jobs. But eventually, we got everything we needed. And I headed back to base. All right, buddy. So I got all the stone for the Enderman farm. Did you get everything else? I got pretty much everything, I think. Do you think we're ready to go? Yeah. I mean, this is going to be easy, right? We're not going to gonna die no 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 we're only building like over the void but honestly nothing to worry about i'm a professional so yeah i mean i'm full of confidence i suppose yeah 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 no like i'm i'm licensed in this so we're, we're good to go don't worry all right well uh should we maybe sleep before we uh head out e yes let's definitely do that all right there, there's no bed up here no okay oh, well, no. <laughs> don't worry where's your I've, sleeping bag man I've, I've got a sleeping bag oh thank god i'll just watch you sleep kind of creepy can't lie all right Let's get to work. So with that, we hopped back into the end, did some magic with water and lava, and started making a leaf bridge out into the vast nothingness. But once we got there, all that we had to do was build up the Enderman farm itself, which honestly, thanks to another Shulkercraft tutorial, was so much easier and quicker than I was expecting. And before long, we were swiping at Enderman's feet and enchanting more of our gear back at the base. But now with the Enderman farm and some better gear taken care of, it was time to take our upgrades even further and get ourselves some alike. So we spent some time making sure we had the stuff we needed for a successful mission exploring the outer end islands, including an anvil so we can put unbreaking and mending books on the wings, and also some rockets so we could actually fly once we got them. I also went back to the Enderman farm to grab some more levels so that I could enchant a new bow, hoping to get infinity. I did not get infinity. But now that we had what we needed, we hopped back into the end and went through that weird mini portal thing. I mean, I don't know what it's called. Uh, a gateway. It's called a gateway. Trust me, I'm smart, I swear. Anyway, look at this place. This is actually so cool. Now, usually I really hate exploring the end, but this was so much fun. That was until this Giga and Hippo started attacking me in Drift. And let me tell you, these morons just kept coming and coming. But thanks to our new armor, these guys didn't really do that much damage. Next up, we found this sort of end ruin thing. I guess it looked like some kind of pool that maybe led to another dimension. Maybe the end end, the Giga end, the super end. Well, we're never gonna know because we didn't figure it out. Moving along, we stumbled upon what looked like an end mineshaft. I explored there for a little bit, but honestly, there wasn't really that much to look at. And at this point, I just kind of wanted to get the wings and get the heck out of here. But to do that, we were gonna need to find an end city. Unfortunately though, Drift died to a shulker that was hanging from a shulker tree. Yep, don't ask. But me being the hero that I am, I slapped down a waystone so she could teleport right back to her grave. I gotta say, these graves are so OP. If it wasn't for these, we probably would have lost all our stuff like 10 times. Anyway, we killed another Giga Hippo and started bridging out over the void to find some new terrain. And not long after that, we found our first end city. And thank the Lord, it had a ship. So we pillared right on up to it and grabbed our first elytra. Oh, I'm so happy we worked so hard to get mending and unbreaking books. Why does mending not go on an elytra? What? Oh, wait, it's, uh, already, got, it's already got mending and stuff on it. 
What? Bruh, so all that villager trading was a waste of time. But with that, I took our first elytra and set out to try and find another set of wings. All while Drifly at the first end city. Thankfully, this did not take long seeing as I could fly now. So I went right up to the ship, grabbed the elytra and made the journey back to Drift. Oh, thank you. Have you still got the waystone? I do. I Actually, it's upstairs. It's up, upstairs in the ship. Oh, we, we, we can fly there. We can fly there. We can fly there. Yeah. Let me get the wings on. They've got mending on them, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm breaking. Comes included. You can also wear it with your chest plate. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Have you got look your rockets? That. I've got rockets. I've got rockets. Thanks, dude. We, we look fancy right now. We look incredible. I can't mm -hmm. believe we did this. And also, I got you something. Hold on a second. This is okay. going to come in handy for you. Boom. This is actually great because <laughs> my inventory is already full. No, literally same. There's plenty more shulkers in there, but I honestly advise against it. It was terrifying. It was very hairy. Yeah, I don't think I'm really that desperate for shulkers, to be honest. What I am desperate for is uh, getting the hell out of here and going home. Yeah, same. Let's grab that waystone, possibly. Yeah. From up above. Maybe we can always it keep is... it here and just come back if we need to, Actually, I that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm going straight home. And I'm following you wherever you're going. Me home. Me home. Oh, you went to the waystone. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. What? Where are you going? I was like, let's fly home. <laughs> what? <laughs> but eventually, Drift used the waystone to get back home, and I spent the rest of day 59 AFK at the mob farm, so we could get some more gunpowder to make some more rockets. On day 60, we both fancied doing a little bit of building around the base, but to do that, I was going to need to collect some blocks. I thought it might be fun to check out a modded tool, so I made myself a diamond hammer. I went to the enderman farm to get some XP, and then you guessed it, I enchanted the hammer. Oh yeah, and I also upgraded my pickaxe. Back in the day when I used to play modded, hammers were so good at collecting stone because they mined in a three by three. This hammer, however, did not. Bruh. But anyway, I went back home with a bunch of deep slate and planted some saplings that me and Drift looted in the end, hoping for some cool wood to build with. But more importantly, I wanted the build I was going to make to have a useful purpose. And that purpose was going to be Tom's simple storage. Now, even though our current storage room was uh, super organized, <coughs> I thought it would be a great idea to inject some smart technology into our base and build up an auto-sorting, searching, crafting machine. Now, it did take me a couple of days to collect all the items that I needed to actually build the storage system, and also another whole day to figure out how it all works and actually put it all together. This is maybe a little bit too much to explain in this video, so in the description you'll find a link to an overview video of this mod, and I definitely recommend you check it out because this system is super powerful. But once the storage system was all set in place, I had the super fun task of taking all the items from our old storage room and dropping them into our new one. And with all that out of the way, I could actually start throwing up a building around this thing. This was another great opportunity to experiment with some new blocks and not just use spruce wood and deep slate. So I built up a base out of deep slate and then some supports out of spruce. Look, give me a break, all right? But seriously, I used some of this cool looking green wood for the walls and then some of this end island blue wood on the roof. I also chucked in some of these lighter blue blocks that Drift used on the potion house. And after adding as many details as I I possibly could be bothered to. This is what it came out like. Honestly, I wouldn't say this is my favorite build ever, but it was fun to use some more of the better Minecraft modded blocks. Ooh, what's this? Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome. What is this? Why is this so ominous? This is a brand new storage system. Have you been in the old house recently? It's, uh, it, it's empty. What? Uh-huh. Where's all my stuff? Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, <gasps> it, it's, it's not in here. I mean, we could turn this into a kitchen or something, but is it all in here then? Yep, it's all in that one tiny little block. Go on, right click Looks on like it. a little computer chip. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa! Yep, everything is all in here. So if I search Ender Pearls, uh -huh. I got them. What? Yeah. And does that mean I can put them away too? Yep, just uh, shift click it in there. And it all just gets organized by itself. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. You solved all of our sorting issues. Wow. I mean, not we we obviously were pretty organized in there anyway, but I thought, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were totally organized. It's just the fact that it could have gotten out of hand. It could have. Yeah. But it, it didn't. But you know, eventually, no. probably it was a mess, all right. It, it it needed sorting. No, it was pretty bad. It was actually pretty <laughs> terrible. What have you been up to then? So I, as you can see, there's no more animals. I've only just noticed yeah <laughs> okay well i guess you didn't really care about them but if you go up this path well with these little I fences built them. right i know aren't they so cute Ooh. and now we've got a barn for all of our cows we got like a little pathway for our sheep so all of them have a cozy little spot to hang out i like it this is so nice i mean the cows have been treated a lot better than the sheep mm, i mean like 
know, they have like a nice little overhang here. That's what they wanted. They enjoyed it. Also, get your sword away from this is a this is a block down no zone. No block down allowed. All right, so now that we're done that, what should we what should we do now? Well, I'm thinking we done quite a bit of building. The base is expanding. How about another adventure? Yeah. Okay, where, where are you thinking? We've already explored so many things. What's what's next? Yeah, I guess we've done like the sort of story of Minecraft, right? How about we do something a bit more, you know, better Minecraft? Okay. I've heard of the Twilight Forest. I've heard scary things about it, but I mean, we've conquered everything else, so I think we could do it. I mean, we're pretty geared up. I say the only thing we probably need before we go is maybe a few more rockets, which means we've got to go stand up there. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so we AFK'd at the mob farm until day 68. On day 69, me and Drift crafted some more rockets, grabbed a waystone from a nearby village, and found a place to make the Twilight Forest portal. We made the portal by using water, flowers, and a diamond. Okay. Uh, let's go. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do anything. We didn't hesitate to jump right in. Once we were there, we saw a whole bunch of stuff that looked very unfamiliar, as well as some stuff that seemed like we were definitely not meant to be there. But after a quick Google search, we figured out we had to make some kind of special map. And thankfully, after the random exploring and adventuring we had done, we had everything we needed. Well, other than some paper. But thanks to our waystone, we could easily hop back to the storage system and craft up our magic twilight map. This is the thing that would show us where to go, unknowingly leading us to danger. And the first danger was this maze that was filled with spiders and mediocre loot. We soon got bored of that though and set off to find something else, where we quickly came across something that looked like it might contain a boss fight. Oh, this has got to be it, bruh. This Oh, I hit it. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're killing him, though. Yeah, we are. I'm not really taking damage from him, to be honest. You got some pretty good armor as well. Yeah, that's true. Woo! Oh, that's he's dead. This is his trophy. Oh, is it? Yeah, we got the... Naga scales. Taken oh, though. You can make armor out of them. No way. Oh. <gasps> well, seeing as that was so easy, we thought we'd try our luck at another boss fight. With a bit of research and a look at our map, we felt like nothing could stop us. Though, maybe this giant wizard tower might. Oh god, it's the boss. Oh god, the twilight lich. I see it, I see it. Oh god, there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, I'm gonna like build a quick little escape route. Oh. He's almost dead. He's dead! No way. Yes! Oh, we got his trophy up there as well. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. Oh, oh Skelly. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Zombie Spectre. And it was at this point that we were just finding this whole Twilight Forest oh. thing a little bit easy. Like, was this mod made for babies or something? Because we were a little confused. But anyway, we thought we would take on another little baby boss. Well, that was if we could find it in this giant maze. Oh, this is going to be hard to get out of. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm blind. I don't know how to help you. Oh, dude. Oh, no, I might die too. Ironwood chest plate. That looks kind of swag. Nice. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, what? That was rigged! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I need to eat. I need to eat. That scared Holy. the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my god, that actually scared the crap out of me. Firefly. Keep drum. Oh god, there's a spawn. Oh! I warned ya! He did. I warned you, dude. Hey, oh my god, the way that they run! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. They didn't hit that hard. This is literally what you get for killing cows all the time. You get evil ones after you, dude. I hope this is a lesson learned. I'm just, I'm just like looking at the map. Oh, if we, yeah, if, if we just loop around this. Can I just break this? Just oh crap. It. This is it? Weak, I hope so. Weak, <laughs> weak, come on. We did it! Ooh. Heck yeah. Look at that axe. Shotgun. <laughs> Can I take the trophy then? Actually, I'm putting it in the shelter anyway. I'm taking some of this stroganoff. Right, look, guys, I'm going to be real. Like, I know I'm so good at Minecraft and stuff, but come on. I thought this place was meant to be a challenge. And here's me and Drift thinking, oh, yeah, this Twilight Forest thing is going to be so entertaining and such a big challenge. Oh, it's going to be so hard. Yet here we were, absolutely dominating without even a chink on our armor. Well, actually, now I come to think about it, am I speaking too soon? Oh, jeez. Bro, not even scary. Three-headed dragon? Like, try harder, dude. Yeah. Oh, God, how do you hit it? Wait, it's taking damage. Why is it taking damage? Because I'm hitting it. Oh, with a sword? Yeah, but it's not doing anything to it. Oh, it is going is down. It? Oh, it, it is, is going down. Is Bro. Oh. Ah! <sighs> oh, God. It... Ah! Oh, God. Ah! No. My skin was ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a message I got. It said my skin was ripped off. Oh, my arm is taking an absolute beating. <laughs> oh, dude, mine's almost done. Going back in. Oh, oh. Bruh. No. 
<laughs> what? Did you just fly into something? No, it just smacked me. It just like yeeted me into a wall <laughs> like yesterday's jam. And I'll make a long story short here. My gravestone went missing and I lost everything. Oh, why did I speak too soon? Well, dude, I think, um, I think my stuff is gone. I can't find the gravestone. Dude, I looked around. I took a couple fly rounds. I didn't see it either. And also on top of that, the Hydra's full health again. Yeah, I think maybe are we going to take the L? I mean, I'm taking a huge L right now. Yeah, we got to take the L. I mean, at least we can split our Elytra now if we need to travel around. But actual L. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how did this happen? And all, of all the times I've died, how come it didn't happen to me? So I had to spend the whole of day 73 getting some of my gear back. Thanks to the Enderman farm and the end raiding we had done, this got me some pretty okay tools. Now, luckily, a keep charm I have managed to keep my armor and my axe. But one thing it didn't keep was my elytra. So on day 74, Drift lent me hers, and I went back to the end islands to find myself a new one of my own. Over the next couple of days, I found another end city, spent some time looting it, I found some XP and combine some of the tools that I just looted. At this point, it was halfway through day 75, and Drift was getting pretty annoyed about the massive blue trees that I planted. So because of that, I promised that I'd chop them down for her. Man, and I thought chopping mangrove was annoying. On day 76, Drift was still busy working on her kitchen project. So I decided I would spend the day exploring a new dimension, and this dimension was going to require a little bit of a cursed portal. So I went to the nether to grab some glowstone, made a portal frame out of it, and then all I was left to do was to place some water. And there we go. Look at this crazy portal leave and you're never coming back <laughs> oh well that, this is gonna be a dining room man anyway and here we are in paradise lost from what i understand this is basically just the aether mod which i've heard some pretty good things about i managed to put one of these giga birds through the pool to try and surprise drift but i'll be real with you guys it did not survive too long i flew around for a while and grabbed some of this cool looking wood and also some of this stone and honestly i don't know if i was missing something or just being a moron but i couldn't really find anything of interest but yeah that was was pretty much it for day 76. On day 77, we both decided we wanted to do a bit more building again to try and expand our base. And even though I'd lost all my stuff in the Twilight Forest, we had so much fun in there. So much so that we wanted to give the portal its own building. And while we were at it, we thought it'd be a good idea to make it a display for all the trophies that you can collect. So we hopped back into the Twilight Forest to grab a few blocks, mainly this wood really. We came back home and laid out a block palette and then started laying out the basic building shape out of stone. I started building up the roof while Drift dealt with the walls. And after a while, we had a rough base of the building that we were happy with. For some strange reason, I decided I would handle the interior while Drift took care of the outside. Seems kind of weird when Drift is the interior expert, but we'll roll with it. And anyway, I spent pretty much an entire day just decorating. And I gotta say, I had a lot of fun. I wanted to give the room sort of an overgrown nature -y feel. I basically just threw down every nature block we had in our storage system until I had a room that I was happy with. All right, should we put the trophies on, buddy? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. This place looks so good, man. Thanks. I can't wait to see what you did on the inside. It's a uh, kind of similar vibes, I think. I mean, this room is maybe not much to be desired, but um, we have. Where'd our... you get this painting of us done? Did you commission this? Yeah, got um Bob Dross to do it. Oh my gosh, his art is incredible. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, our sled. Yep. Wow. So many good times. So many good times. Yep, just full of memories, right? Sort of. Yeah. All right, well, what's in here? Whoa! Dude, this looks so good, though. What the heck? Yeah, I think it's kind of vibes. I spam all the nature. What's this? What's this memory? What is this core memory that you had without me here? Well, I don't one. remember this. Oh, this is your brain. What? It's just air. So we have three trophies from the Twilight Forest. Right. I feel like we should we should probably display these, right? Yeah, go for it. I mean, pick your spot. All right, let's do one here. Oh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's put the lich here. And then the cow can go right here. Hell yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, we still got, we still got more to go. Obviously, we didn't get the uh, the Hydra. We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, I feel like we need a redemption on that or something, though. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be for another episode. i got to admit, I don't really fancy going back in there right now. No, me neither. I'm a little bit terrified of it, to be honest, and a little bit salty. If we can hit 100,000 likes on this video, we'll yeah, get 100,000 <laughs> 100, likes. Come on. See that little button down there, right below you? I see it. Hit it. Anyway, yeah, day 80 is done. Day 80. Done. In the books. Yeah. See you tomorrow.
Oh God, if I went back into that portal, I would have cried. On day 81, we both decided it was time for another adventure, but this time we were gonna play it safe and do some more overworld exploration. It didn't take long for us to find something new with these awesome red trees. So we grabbed ourselves some of that. And right next to those trees was another village where we found some copper golems. It was at this point that we realized we could actually pick up mobs. So we had a bit of fun with that. But after putting the mobs back down on the ground, we head off in search of something else. We came across a really friendly looking desert mossy temple style thing. Thingy. Creeper dungeon. This is kind of oh. swag. Oh, there's definitely like a pile of creepers down there. <laughs> Just gonna wait oh! for them to swarm you. <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh my... It's gonna I be bad. See... It's oh gonna be so god! bad. <laughs> I can see little bits of oh! stuff flying everywhere. Why did you do that? Oh my god. This is, gold. this is gold. This is gold. <gasps> yep, it turns out it wasn't that friendly. Up next, we came across this pumpkin village that actually had some little pumpkin people in it. I can't lie, these guys were pretty cute. We then found another desert temple thingy, except this one was icy. And just like the mossy one, it wasn't friendly either. Bro, you're gonna set Ooh. off a bomb. You are literally gonna set off. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. god! Whatever loop was there was gone now! <laughs> what? Bro, you're so lucky you got out of there. Oh my god, somebody was shooting at us. What? Where are they coming from? What? Ow, I'm being shot. Oh my god, it's like frozen skellies, dude. Yeah, the the, the loot is gone. Oh my god. Oh, there's one of the magic men. Magic man. Oh, oh god. god, yep, see ya. I am frozen in the air. I no. might die. No, let's let's leave. I don't wanna die, man. I don't wanna die. How is this still going on? Oh. We then spent some time killing animals for leather because we wanted to make some new armor. And wow, look at this stuff. It may not be good armor, but who needs good armor when you got Minecraft swag? And seeing as this armor was so cool, I decided it deserved enchanting. So I hopped to the Enderman farm to get some XP and enchanted the new drip. Now our base was coming along pretty nicely, but one thing we were missing was our own personal houses. So over the next few days, that's what we wanted to take care of. I went around the world once more, collecting up a bunch of blocks so I could try and build myself something nice. I did craft up some of these cool dowd blocks and I was super excited to try and use these in a build. But once again we all know how this goes. I spent a few days breaking and placing blocks until I had a nice basic house shape. But as it was this thing wasn't really looking that special. So I spent even more time adding in a bunch of details to try and give this area of the base a bit more life. And before I knew it I had this place and it wasn't looking half bad. I also spent some time doing a little interior. That way I had a nice place to put a bed. And you know what I think this thing might be my favorite thing I've built on this one. World. I know the days tick by quickly there, but that's kind of what happens when I spend the extra time building. I do think it was worth it though, because I was itching to really get into detail on a build with all these new modded blocks. And you know what? It's all alright, because I think Drift has as much fun as I did too. On day 89, we wanted to keep building and expanding our base. We had the idea to try and make some kind of monument for the dragon egg, seeing as this was probably our biggest achievement in this world so far. So we went back to the end islands together to collect up a few different blocks for the build. Once we got back, we thought it might be cool to have some sort of pond style thing with the dragon egg coming up in the middle. We use these blue blocks for a border, end stone for the middle, and then a bunch of different purple blocks for the dragon egg to sit on. And yeah, this is what we have. I think it's pretty nice. The next day we wanted to make another build for our base's waystone. Seeing as we had a bunch of deep slate, we thought we'd just try and use it up to build the base for the waystone. We were thinking we'd try and make some sort of mini Mayan temple kind of thing. And I gotta say, this thing came out pretty sweet too. It definitely looked better than just having it out in the open by the fishing dock. But with that all done, it took us to day 92. Oh boy. Drift. Yep. We're uh, coming to the end of the 100 days, sort of. Are we on day 92? Day 92? Yeah, something like that. 92, I think. I've had a lot of fun so far. Me too. This is a, this has just been great. There is one problem though. Yep. That Hydra mm. stole all my stuff. Yep. He still has it. And he's still out there breathing. Like really breathing because there's three heads. Like that's a lot of breath. Yeah, I know. And uh, well, he shouldn't breathe anymore. No, no I agree. He, I think he needs to pay. I think he does need to pay. I want revenge. No, me too. Well, you know where the portal is. You're not coming with me? Well, I am, yeah. But I was just trying to be dramatic. Was oh, that okay. dramatic enough? But before we go to the portal, I actually really need some food and stuff. So can we do that first? Yeah, I mean, I've only got like 16 steaks, so... Okay, I know we're I know we're hungry for revenge, but that will not satiate the hunger that I actually have. I'm actually starving right now. So let's go get some food. Okay. Drift. Yes. Here's your steak. <laughs> Here's your steak. A whole stack. Stop, stop. I was just cooking some. Well. What? How did I only got like three? It's because I took looting off my sword. I deserve that. Oh. You do. Imagine taking <sighs> okay. looting off your sword. I know. That was really cringe. Cringe. Off to the portal. 
Yeah, I mean, first time we actually get to use this build. Right? Can we shake oh, hands in front us. of the handshake poster? Yeah, obviously. Okay, this is not really working out the way that we thought it would. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go into this portal. Oh, wait, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. The map. The, this is actually the map that we need, believe it or not. I don't see anything there. Just punch it. There you go. Oh, okay, there it is. All right, see you in there. All right, see you. Good luck. Oh, I'm in. Oh, that thing is northeast, I'm pretty sure. So let's go. This is southwest. Oh, is it? It's so, Sorry, it's northwest. My bad. Northwest. Oh, God, I'm in acid rain. We're good. We got to get this, dude. We have to. I'm actually, like, so mad about it. Okay, here's the swamp. And then, like, right beyond it was the... Oh, there he is. There he is. You ready, buddy? I'm dead. One eternity later. There's got to be like a better way. Of, I feel like we're just doing something wrong. Oh, I see his open mouth. Oh, God. I hit him with oh, a stake. That actually does quite a bit of damage. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh his head's dead. His head. Yo. Oh, my gosh. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, no. It respawned. Oh, he's got so many heads now. Oh, God. Oh, I got one. Yeah. And another one. He's almost done. He's almost done. Oh, my yeah. God. Dude, we're almost there. Oh. Yes. One more. Oh one God. more. One more. One more good one. Come on. Die. Block down. Yes. This is yours. Yes. Yes! yes! We did it! We did it! That's right! Yes! That's oh right! God. Oh. You didn't take my oh stuff! Yes! Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what's the loot? Fiery blood, hydra oh. chops. Yo. Take that trophy. That is yours, I'm taking dude. that goddamn trophy. You're damn right. Fiery blood. I'm drinking I'm this drinking blood. It. I am How the hell drinking you... it. I can't drink it. I can't do it either. I thought I could drink it. Let's let's bring it back just in case. It's right oh, around the go. corner from that tree. I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh. Are we ready? And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I guess uh, we should probably store this fiery blood. Who knows? Who knows if yeah. we're going to need it again? Because we might need it for 200 days if you like and subscribe right now. 100,000 likes, everyone. And I need to reach 1 billion subscribers by the end of the year. On day 94, we wanted to add even more builds to our base. And next on the list was a nether portal build. So we hopped into the nether to grab some blocks when things got a little bit hairy. Oh my god. Was it like a big like pantheon kind of big circle? Yeah, building? it's got like a giant blaze dude in it. Oh, Ooh. he multiplies. He multiplies. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Dude, my armor is definitely gonna break. I have no yeah, more arrows eight. either. Oh, he's dead! Oh, you got it! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! What is it? What's the loot? What did he drop? Uh, wildfire crown fragment. Oh, we killed him. Are you not looting here then? Surely. Oh! Yeah, there's wither skeletons oh, in here. Oh, bro, that looks hairy. That looks hairy. Hey, oh, this content. oh, hey, yeah. I actually got three wither skulls. There's one down there. Hey, crap, dude, I got two wither skulls. Dude, you could literally spawn the wither here. They have it set up. This is so weird. T kind of tempted to go to like the nether fortress and try get one more wither skull. And fight the wither? Oh my god. Yep, no. <laughs> it's so hard to scare the hell out That's of That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Don't mind finding a fortress, though. Just a fortress. Oh, there's a spawner oh. in there. I got three. I got you three. Did? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's, let's go. Meet, let's meet up. Okay. Let's meet up. But after that, we went back to base and went to the mines to fight the wither like big babies. <laughs> Why's it gone dark? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Bro, we can do this easy. Easy. Yeah, he's almost swordable. Oh, God. He's actually flipping out. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might die. I might die. Dude, he's like half. He's like half. So easy. Get out of here, man. Oh, so easy, dude. Try harder. Try harder. Oh god, oh god, oh. I'm stuck, I'm stuck! Ah! I'm quite close. Oh dude, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Let's Please. get him, let's get him! I'm almost dead! Yeah. I'm almost dead! Ah! Please! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, one and a half hearts. Oh jeez. Oh, did you get with a star? Oh, I did, I got the star. Oh god. Dude, you have no boots, look at your little shoes! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't need this armor. That's how good we are. Check this out. Oh, I forgot mine at home. I forgot mine at home. I need to get... <laughs> I think we're going the wrong way. We then made a beacon, and I thought it'd be a cool idea to try and add it to the Wastone Monument. Of course, it wasn't a full beacon, but at day 96... Eh, it didn't really matter. We then spent the rest of that day placing all the nether blocks that we just found to build up this awesome looking nether portal. Another great addition to the base. On day 97, me and Drift wanted to do one more build, and that was going to be a nice area for the ether portal. So we hopped in to try and find some blocks to use. We flew around for pretty much the entire day, but didn't really find anything we didn't already have. So we 
we hop back through the portal once more and spend day 98 building up a pretty looking area with all the blocks that we had left in the storage system. And yeah, this thing came out really nice. So here we are on day 99. We thought we'd spend our last full day in this world doing whatever we could to pretty up our base. Drift was going to take care of some more paths and fields, and I was going to take all the different saplings we had and plant them around the edge of our village. I guess this was a cool way to display all the different biomes and dimensions we managed to visit. But with that, it took us to our last sleep, which means we're at day 100. Drift, we did it. Day 100. We did it. We did it, dude. Oh, How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling relieved. Um, We survived it, sort of. Somehow. I mean, like, honestly, this is the most progression I've ever made, and I couldn't have done it without you. Absolutely. I agree. I mean, I probably could have, but um, that's besides the okay. point. All right. Well, that was a little bit rude, but I understand because it's true. It's the truth. Well, did you, did I mean... Five million likes and we'll do another 100 days! 100,000 billion likes and we'll do it again! Honestly, I'll do this. If you just let us know that you enjoyed this video and we will absolutely do one again because we had so much fun. And I, I really want to wear this suit again. I feel so fancy right now. The fanciest I've ever felt. I mean, I, I'm inclined to agree. Despite all of us, despite us, you know, just having some goofs and stuff. I had such a fun time with you, dude. Yeah, we had a great time. It was good. Yeah. I want to do it again. So this is day 100. And as you can see, I think we're pretty much complete with everything that we've got. We've got a fully sustainable base. Yeah. And I think that's all that really needs to be said. And now time for a little monologue from me. I have had so much fun in this world. Adventuring, building, and looting, and dying. The better Minecraft mod back has been a really fun experience. But the real thing that makes Minecraft better is playing it with friends. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one.